Hey there, this is Robert St. Jacques again, and we're on to the next question. How can HR continue to build internal relationships with a remote workforce? Great question, right? So usually we'd be able to communicate by walking around. Uh, we somehow, you know, dropped in. We had water cooler talk. We had lunch times. We had coffee times. You know, in terms of the HR communication toolbox, you know, most of us are, you know, tend to be some, you know, at least slightly extroverted. And so just, you know, going up and chatting with people uh, was fairly easy in order to keep the pulse on what was happening that's no longer available. So in terms of you know trying to formalize a little bit of the, the process and to keep in touch with people, the first thing to do would actually be to reach out to those leaders, those stakeholders who are important, and you know set a day and a time for them. So it depends on the cadence, you know, it could be weekly, uh, depending on the situation. If you're dealing with a, a, an urgent matter, it may be you know, daily, but most of the time it's weekly or bi-weekly. You know, make it clear that you're there to help them and it's about them. So, you know, send them agenda in terms of, you know, what they're looking at. Also, let them lead the discussion, right? Because you're there to provide support to them, their team, the organization as well. And if you're ever stumped, you know, for how to start the conversation or if it feels a little bit awkward, here's a quick hack. Uh, I call it what, which, why. So you ask the first question, hey, what are the three biggest uh, issues keeping you up at night related to, um, you know, Q2 and preparing your people for the recovery in Q3. Interesting. So you'll get three of those. Next question you ask is, which of those is, is the most important or the highest priority? And then the individual will talk through that. And then the last question is, why is that? Why is that the, the, the priority that's keeping you you know, the most awake at night. And from those three, you know, seemingly innocuous questions, right, you will get uh, a sense of how you can help that leader uh, because not only will you know what's important to them, you'll know why it's important to them and then how to assign a priority. Last piece is once you start doing this with a group of, you know, managers and employees, you can put it all together in themes and say, hey, I've been having conversations with you and, uh, you know, this is what I see happening and this is what we can do in a short, medium and or long term. So, again, these are just a couple uh, you know, hacks in terms of helping you keep in touch with a remote workforce.